Hello, I'm David, your developer on Duty, and in this video we're going to have a look at fully open source, fully local, large language models and their integration into NeoVim. A few days ago, Mistral AI released their large language model. It's open source under the Apache 2 license. It's small, it has only 7 billion parameters, which, depending on your machine, probably allows you to run it locally. Despite its small size, they claim that it performs even better than Llama 213b on all benchmarks. When they released their model, they just posted a tweet with a magnet link. No text, no marketing. I like that. Now let's see how we can run them locally. There's this nice little tool called Olama, and it lets you download various LLMs and run them locally on your machine. It's that simple. It has a lot of different models, for example, Llama 2, Llama 2 Uncensored, Code Llama, and also Mistral. And Mistral comes in text as well as instruct. After installing it, you can run it locally using Olama Serve. This will serve a server which runs local on your machine. I already did that. And then you can run Olama Run, provide the name of the model and an instruction. For example, write a haiku poem about cats. Now, if you press enter, it will download and install the Mistral Instruct model. If it's not yet there, I already have it. That's why I immediately get my result. Since it's a bit tedious to use LLMs as a command line interface tool, I created a NeoVim extension called GenNVim to invoke it from my text editor. I just built that today. The usage is relatively simple. You have this custom command called gen, and then you can perform various tasks. I have also some predefined prompts, for example, enhance the grammar of some selected text and so on and so forth. So let's see it in action. Let's open some sample text. And here you can see there are some mistakes. For example, sentence is wrongly written and the grammar is not perfect. So let's just highlight everything and invoke my tool. And here we can enhance the grammar and spelling. This is one of those predefined example prompts. And if I do this, now the text is replaced and you can see there are no more errors. And everything runs locally on your machine. There's no communication to some external system. It's completely free and open source. Here's another example. Sometimes you don't want to replace text, but you want more information. For example, a summary of some large text. So you can highlight it all. This is some text about quantum mechanics. And now I can just say summarize. And now the LLM will summarize it. And you can see it's really fast. I'm using it on my Mac. It's an M1 Mac. And you can see the inference speed is really good. Sometimes for me, it's easier to parse information if I have it in form of a list. So I can highlight all the text and I can say, make list. And now it renders it as a list, a lot easier to parse. But it's still too much information, so let's make it more concise. This is a lot better. Let's undo it so we have the original text. And now I can also ask questions. So for example, I can say ask. And now I can say, what is a wave function? And now based on the information I provided, it tells me what a wave function is. So here's some other example. Let's say I have some data in a semi-structured format and I want to render it as a markdown table. So I can just highlight it and I say make table. And now I have a markdown table. The coding capabilities of the Mistral model are not great, but acceptable. For example, I can give it this function here and I can say review my code. And it correctly says that this console log statement can be simplified to this one, which is correct. And the function name should be changed to something more descriptive, such as greet, which is also fine. We get different answers for each review, so let's review it again. And it says the function can be simplified to this one, which is definitely correct. So it also has some explanation. It uses the template literal. This is this one here. And uh, with this, it allows for string concatenation. And indeed, the code is more concise and easier to read. I can also change the code. For example, I can say 
change code make it arrow function and now it's an arrow function so here you can see some example prompts i ship for example enhanced grammar spelling which you saw before it has a prompt which is modify the following text to improve grammar and spelling and you can see i can use placeholder variables this dollar text variable is later on the selected text and this option replace true means that once it's generated i want to replace the selection with a generated output we can also easily add new prompts for example we can say require gen prompts and the name of the prompt will be make style and it should be a prompt in the form of transform the following text into the style of I can use the placeholder input input one to demand a value from the user and I can say text and I can say replace equals to true so let's try it out I open some sample text now I take this sentence I say make style and I can say pirate and now the sentence is transformed into the style of a pirate. I'm sure there are a lot more useful prompts we can create so please give it a shot. I think this small 7 billion parameter model is great for some simple tasks and it can definitely improve some of your workflows. Please let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.